hello, it's me, Jeanette. How are you? Hope you've been well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing what I'm doing with this month's uh, Planner Society subscription kit. So that's for the month of August. I can't believe August is over in, I think, next week. I, what What's going on? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you how I used um, this month's subscription kit and also um, do like a plan with me session. I started this side and have filled in a few of my plans for this week in pencil. And I'm gonna go back and um, decorate the rest of my planner. But first I wanted to show you what I did with the subscription kit in my Midori. So this is where I do like my design teamwork. And I didn't fill out that section. I think that was last month. This layout is from this month. I ended up uh, doing uh, summer highlights for this particular layout. So I just listed memorable things that occurred this summer. Summer's coming to an end, unfortunately, and I wanted to um, memorialize it, I guess. And this month's kit was perfect because it had a lot of um, summery things like this summer's end sticker and um, it, just, it just felt right. And then I did this layout here. I ended up doing a summer end of summer bucket list. So these are things that I still want to do before summer is over. <laughs> and the first one is kind of sad. It's have a slice of peach pie. But honestly, number two should be number one because it's a go to the drive-in. And then this layout here, I haven't filled out yet. I need to figure out what I'm going to write here. I might write about this weekend. It was a good weekend. So yeah, here's what I did. And let's get to that plan with me section of this video. So as I mentioned earlier, I already started this side and I filled in some of my like major important things that I can't forget. For the most part, I like to start decorating my layouts with sticky notes and this month's selection in this particular kit is really good. I really love these my mind's eye sticky notes. And the thing that I enjoy most about planning and decorating my planner is that it starts with one layer at a time, piece by piece. I think a lot of people are intimidated by the planning process, the decorating process, because they see so many, you know, beautiful layouts online, but it doesn't have to be difficult or scary. Just make it you. I mean, all you really need is, you know, a few sticky notes and some washi tape, maybe some stickers, and you just start layering them in a way that makes you happy and call it a day. Now it's time for the sticker sprinkle. This is what's left over from this month's kit. As you can see, I've used up a lot of the stickers already, mostly in my Midori layouts. But uh, yeah, I really love how these stickers always coordinate. As you can see, I fully intend to use every sticker in this month's kit. And that actually brings a question to mind and hopefully you can answer it in the comments. Are you the kind of person that likes to hoard their craft supplies, you know, because they're limited edition or because they're super cute? Or are you the type of person that just likes to use up their supplies? Hopefully you can answer that question for me. I'm really curious to hear your answers because for me, there was a time where I liked to hoard stickers and washi tape and I didn't want to use them up because I had a limited supply. But recently I've kind of had a change of heart and I just use up what I have because life's too short to hoard cute supplies. Now it's time to use these cute acrylic stamps. Now I don't know about you, but I have a love-hate relationship with stamping just because like one wrong move, if your pressure is not correct or if your stamp is not aligned, you could potentially ruin your layout. And I don't like that about stamping, but what I do like is when things do go right, just the character and personality that stamping can add to your layout.
So now I'm done with the decorating and I'm gonna take my pen and go over all my penciled in plans to make them official. And you know what's so cute? A lot of people thought that this camera pen was an actual camera. It's simply adorable. Now this is the part where I go back and erase all of my pencil marks. And I think that's it friends. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.